I got up at 6.20 a.m. this morning to go and watch Suspiria. <laughs> the remake of Suspiria. I got 6.20 a.m. got the 7 a.m. train to be in a queue outside the cinema for 7.40 to make sure I could get in for the 8.30 showing of Suspiria. Was it worth it? Um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty much, yeah, just about. Three muzzles, three God, three devil. Mother Tenebrarum, Mother Lacrimarum, and Mother Suspiriorum. Darkness, tears, <laughs> and sighs. <laughs> It's a remake of Suspiria, which is a very beloved um, Dario Argento movie. Um, remake by, how the hell you pronounce his name? Lucas Guad, Guadin, Guadin, Guad, that man. That man. Who did the movie with Ray Fiennes getting his cock out. Ray Fiennes getting his cock out dancing and yeah. trying to get an Oscar by not acting like Ray Fiennes. Yeah. Dakota Johnson plays um, an aspiring young a dancer. She lives in rural USA. She moves to Berlin. It's set in 1977, which is when the original was released. Mm -hmm. um, Berlin, at a time of massive political turmoil, the Red Army faction was uh, was active. There was the Lufthansa hijacking. So against a backdrop of all this, you get this young American. She's, um, she's passionate about dance. She goes to this uh, school, this all woman, this female dance school in Berlin. This is sort of spoiler territory. I think if you're if you're watching this, kind of kind of assume you've seen the original and you know what happens in the original. She goes to the, a dance school and it turns out it's also a front for a coven of witches. Right. The original is this sort of uh, stylish, atmospheric sort of shocker kind of you know. It's an Argento. Well lit jello. Yeah. Um, this one is f less of an atmospheric, stylish shocker. This one's more of an outright bonkers piece of trashy art. It's sort of absolutely bananas mm -hmm. at points. Um, I have to say, I, I, I liked a lot of it. There are things I wasn't so keen on, mm -hmm. but a lot of it I, I did like. You're making some kind of deal with them. Tilda Swinton plays the the sort of the head of the school. She's this uh, famous uh, dance instructor who's who initially inspired Dakota Johnson's character. She saw her in New York, and she says when she goes, she says, you know, why are you here? So I saw you in New York, and this is why I'm here. I want to dance for you. Mm -hmm. Tilda Swinton very well plays this sinister matriarch who you know is uh, up to something. Well, you know she's a. She's uh, one of the principal... She's a bloody witch. She's a bloody witch, yeah. <laughs> She's a principal witch in this cover. <laughs> right. You know there's literally magic happening. It's sinister, there's witchcraft afoot. Mm -hmm. It's all a mess. It's fascinating, it's moody, it's um, it's, it's a nice tone to it. I don't think it, it's not the same kind of deep atmosphere of the original which is more like you would see in Mandy now. Mm. I enjoyed it. It was it was yeah it's it's bonkers, it's it's mad, it's visually it's done with a flourish. I think Tilda Swinton mm. as this suspicious matriarch of this school is really, really good. Well, she wants to get inside of me. I can feel her. When you get to the end, and it ends in this sort of orgy of dance, I thought that the finale, the, the climax, to reference the other dancey horror movie, mm -hmm. I thought the climax lacked a bit of impact. Um, it's, I felt like the weakest scene in the movie, and it's, it should be the most striking, it's the climax of the movie. And I have to say, I thought, it lacked impact and it sort of drifted into sort of budget Hellraiser territory a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Which I found disappointing. It's not a huge problem, it's still an engaging movie and it's interesting and it's it's wild. And I 
would want to see it again. But I don't think it all quite meshes together. I don't think the whole thing totally works. It's a movie which has bits in it that I really like and other bits that were not as good. Okay. But would you recommend people go see it? Yeah, I I would and if you I think it's gonna find an audience anyway, you know, so many yeah. people are so hyped about this. And I think I think I would imagine most people will come away satisfied. I think a significant portion of the audience will really love it. There will be some I think will go, mm -hmm. um, but I would recommend it. Particularly if you, you know, if you enjoyed the original, if you've got um, an interest in in this, if you're interested, don't you know, don't be deterred. Do go and see it. If you're sort of going to see it on the back of seeing Dakota Johnson in Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know how much you'd enjoy this. You might come away sort of slightly nonplussed, but oh, fuck you, I'm liking that movie. <laughs>